Welcome back to another tutorial video where today I'll be showing you how to run the vacuum test on the IBEX furnaces. First click on utilities, go to calibrate, and then click on vacuum test. Once there you'll have three different values, values you will see. The test vacuum, your actual vacuum, and your calibration error. Go ahead and click on your test vacuum box, set it to 750, and click the start button. Your actual vacuum will rise as the lift plate moves up and the vacuum starts to pull. Your calibration error is the percentage off that the actual vacuum is from the test vacuum. So as the vacuum continues to rise, what this test accomplishes is to determine whether or not you have a vacuum leak in your furnace. And so the most common cause of a vacuum drop is there's still moisture within the chamber. And so you want to make sure that your chamber is completely dried out or heated up well, well before you start actually running programs. And so as we hit 750, your vacuum is going to go 3 millimeters above 750 before it turns off, just to make sure that it, it reaches its actual vacuum. So as your test continues to run, what you're wanting to see is how well the vacuum holds. If your vacuum stays above 745 millimeters over a period of 20 minutes, you have nothing to worry about. But if it happens to drop below 743, make sure your furnace has had time to heat up and remove any of the potential moisture that's inside of the chamber. Other, otherwise, you might want to consider having it checked out.